All right. Well, we got ourselves a mostly beautiful day. And we also got ourselves some goodies from the auction that we have to go pick up. So it's not really a revival, just more so a uh, startup video of all this new crap I bought. So I'm gonna load up some tools. I'm gonna go grab a truck and then we'll head to the auction. All right, well, we're about to be pulling up at the auction. I'll go talk with the dude and then we will get to cranking. Well, I was gonna leave this one for last, but I decided since she's gonna take the longest to warm up, she's the first one to get started. Let's get her going. So, we're gonna see if this will even crank it over. It's 950, but it's old. So it's probably like 600. I'm gonna go grab my crescent. She's trying to save face when she with you. Drinking all night, that's what we do. Trying to keep the buzz on Pinto. Hella lies since I left. Tilt bed, tilt deck, 
a little electric winch. I don't even know how many pounds it is. Alright, so this guy. Somebody really cared about this truck, it seems like. It's in damn good condition for a 66. three speed with low or in other words four speed so from my understanding I think this one's plumb out of fucking fuel we got nothing on the fuel gauge the battery sounds fine in the post for the auction or for the listing for the auction there's a fresh 350 so I'm assuming that means rebuilt with the implement orange paint <laughs> it's just fucking everywhere got the chrome valve covers though I'm gonna have to get rid of those or scuff them up or something. I fucking hate chrome. I don't know if you can see the exhaust work down there, but that doesn't look pretty. Looks like good oil. I mean, dark, but it doesn't look like water. Won't crank on it, we'll see what she does. Smells a bit like life. Doesn't sound like life. Accelerators are working well. Got good streams squirting out. I think I just might crank on it a second again. It had oil pressure just cranking on it. And I saw a video of it running, so I know it runs. If uh, it has issues, then I suppose it might check spark.
this another try.
pulled out of there like nothing though. That was quite a bit of snow. in the truck and headed to the house to pick up a snatch block in hopes that it would be the solution to our problems. All right, for a basic lesson in polyonomics and winchonometry, we put a snatch block on the line in order to double our pulling force coming out of the winch. In doing that, it should have pulled this forklift up the bed no problem. When it did not, it led me to investigate our electrical connections to the winch, and I found a loose one. Once we had our electrical connection sorted, the winch pulled the forklift straight up without a hitch.
know she hates it, yeah Surprise nobody know you faking, yeah Know you faking, so I Yeah, boy, you're off now, I ain't got no time for that 20,000 in the wind, you know I spend it Make it right back, hundreds in my right hand Bitches seen her like that So I and subscribes to the P.O. box in the video description. Have a great day, and remember, don't let your meat loaf. If you did like, please send me your... If you did enjoy, if you did enjoy, please send me your likes and subscribes to the video... If you did like,